Now that we're able to move the face, let's take a look at how we can move the body, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Human IK, and I can see it's up here, this icon. It's also Window Animation Editors, Human IK, okay? Um, now, I'm gonna go to, um, if I click on this and I'm gonna go here, I'm just going to create a skeleton, okay? So if I go to create skeleton, um, if I go to shading, x-ray joints, and then I'm gonna go to show, I wanna make sure that my joints are turned on, okay? And you can see that it automatically created a skeleton um, in the character. Now I had um, positioned this character to make sure that the character um, is in line in the same scale as the skeleton because the skeleton always comes in really at the same size. So I just scaled this character up to fit that, okay? And I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to just select Andy's group here. I'm gonna move him down just a little bit there. Excellent, yeah, that looks good. Now, now it looks like he's fitting in there a little bit better. And um, if I look at it from the top, okay, the top looks weird. I'm gonna to go to view, default view, and now I can see that better. And I'm gonna go shading, x-ray joints, make sure that show joints are turned on. There they are. Okay, there we go. Um, so I can see that it looks like the elbow for one is a little bit too far out. So I'm just gonna correct one side of the character. I'm just gonna correct this side. And, um, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna mirror that. So I'm just gonna go in here and actually scale it and you can see that now the elbow is more in line. And if the wrist is out of line, I can go here and kind of scale that as well. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna to go to the um, fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate them like this. And if the this one can't fit, I might, I might have to kind of rotate all of this and then kind of correct these, there we go. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And if I look at this from the side, okay, notice I don't see the joints, I'm gonna to have to go to show, make sure joints are turned on, and uh, shading x-ray joints can be helpful as well. And I think it might be helpful to kind of look at it from the perspective view and I think I'm gonna actually turn off x-ray joints and now I can kind of see if they need to be kind of rotated and kind of put into the skin. Okay, not bad, that looks pretty good. Shading, x-ray joints, can look at that one more time. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I can see here. Body looks good. Um, now, realize that this hand is still not aligned. Okay, so what I can do is on skeleton, I wanna make sure that this is unlocked and then I can, I should be able to uh, select on the skeleton and just do this and that's going to mirror the joints and now I can see that magically this hand looks good. Awesome. Um, now if you were doing a custom character that had more fingers, I could go extra or I could turn off some fingers if they had less fingers. Also, if they had toe bones, I could add those here as well. Notice my character has shoes on, um, which most characters do, so I don't need to have the toe joints, okay?